Hello everyone, this is Matt Bauer with another fun-filled How My Computer Works video. This one is for all you aspiring filmmakers out there, or just anyone who might want to create a family vacation video or any other type of video project. Now there are lots of applications out there you can use, but in this video I'm going to show you how to use Windows Movie Maker or Windows Live Movie Maker. It's free, easy, and has some excellent features to make your movies look really great. Windows Movie Maker may already be installed on your computer, but if it's not, the best way to get it is to Google the phrase Windows Movie Maker, or click the link in the More Info section below. Either way, you'll be brought to this page. Click Download Now and the installer will download. Open it and you'll be prompted to install. Click Choose the programs you want to install and uncheck everything except Photo Gallery and Movie Maker, unless of course you want to install any of the other applications. Then click Install. When it's done, click Close. And when you start Movie Maker, you'll need to agree to the terms. Now feel free to read them, but Pause this video first because I'm going to move on. Anyway, after you agree to the terms, Movie Maker opens to the main screen. The first thing you'll want to do is add photo or video files to your project. You can do this by clicking here or here. Once you've selected your files, click Open. You can also include music in your movie by clicking here. As well as webcam video, titles, captions, and several other additions just by clicking on these options. Windows Movie Maker also comes with several pre-made themes to quickly get you up and running with a great looking video, complete with music and titles. Here's a contemporary theme. And here's a cinematic theme. You can change the titles by clicking them in the clip timeline or in the video itself. You can resize or move the title easily like this. The title can also be moved in time right on the timeline. Title duration is adjusted here. And you can change the font, font size, color, and most other things just as you would in Microsoft Word. The Edit tab allows you to change the clip's fade properties and other options. The View and Project tabs are pretty self-explanatory. Visual effects can be added at the click of a mouse. Here are just a few of them. There are so many options on making your video look great, so feel free to play around with them to get the look and feel that you want. And remember, Control Z or Undo is your friend. When you're ready to export your video to a single file or service, the options can be found on the Home tab. For the sake of simplicity, click Save Movie and then Recommended Settings. Give your movie a name and choose the save location. When your movie is done, you can either play it right away or go right to it on your hard drive. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Feel free to leave a comment give it a thumbs up, and most importantly, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. If you have any questions about this particular video, or if you have any comments or training suggestions, just send me an email at training at mycomputerworks.com. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter by clicking the links in the More Info section just below this video. And if you have any questions about My Computer Works or would like to know more information about our services, just call us at the number you see below or visit us online at mycomputerworks.com. 
My name is Matt Bauer. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.